in the midst of the most unprecedented time in modern history, a hero rises to change his costume? What award show is Spider-Man hosting that he feels the need to change his outfit so frequently instead of providing any kind of meaningful assistance to the authorities? I don't know what his game is, but he seems to be more preoccupied with his wardrobe than the impending doom this city faces. As these creatures terrorize the streets, take comfort in knowing that the Spider-Man have sleek new outfits to wear to make sure they look their best for the end of the world. Has it ever been clear? They do not care about us. Selfish, egotistical, sociopaths. I'll tell you, in all my years, I would have not guessed that this is what I'd be reporting on as the world ended around us. But life is unpredictable. The only thing we can count on is the Spider-Man, only doing what's best for them. Hunters have trouble with their tech. Norman, what are you doing? Don't! What's he gonna do with that thing? I think we're about to find out. You need to know. Harry's gone. Host and Symbiote are perfectly fused. I'll find a way to save him. You can't. But you can still stop the symbiote. How? By killing the host. Please. Save my boy.
God! Spider-Man, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing right now. We've got a lot of New Yorkers being attacked by these things. Civilians are in trouble. I'm coming! And that bus won't last much longer! I'll take care of these things! Just stay inside the bus! popping up everywhere. Sending you coordinates now. Got it. Watch yourself out there, man. This is something else. Harry, I'll find you, buddy. I'll find you somewhere. That suit's not an alien, is it? <laughs> it's time for a Miles Morales original, you know? One of one. <laughs> it looks good. <sighs> what happened, man? Harry got the meteorite. I, uh... I couldn't stop him. Connor said we can't save him, so we have... I can't lose him, Miles. I can't do this again. I saw May when I was... in your head. It's not your fault, Pete. She wanted to save you. To save all of us. She never thought about herself. Even when she was struggling to breathe. If May... my dad... If they were here, they would want us to stop thinking about them. They'd want us to help people. To fight. Harry's still in there. And we're gonna fight like hell to get him back. Call the play, coach. Let's split up. Cover more ground. You find the meteorite, I'll clear that nest out. You got it, Spider-Man.
to get started. Clear out and move on to the next. Countdown begin. Looks like that scares you, huh? I must be on to something important for you to try to defend yourself like this! Stay focused, Pete. turn into symbiotes you are safe here everyone you love is safe here my head i have to find a way out why would you leave we are here you can be too peter us this isn't where i belong harry neither do you Come on, Miles! Come on! Let us heal you. Bring us, Peter. Haley? What are you showing me? Please, join us.
Haley's in trouble. Pete, I saw the meteorite. It's under the Harlem subway station, next to the bridge. Heading there now! Wait for me though, man. Harry, he's after you. I have to go help Haley, but just wait, all right? Whoa, whoa, back up! What happened? I got sucked into the high pine. Saw this vision of the meteorite underground. But I've got a bad feeling. You think Harry's there? I'm serious, Pete. Just give me ten minutes. You cannot do this alone. Right. Call me when you're done. Sorry, Miles, but I can't waste any time. Everyone stay in your cars! I won't let them hurt you! Harry! Venom! I know you're here! Yes! I'm here, buddy! I know! Just hang on! I'm coming! Tunnel! The meteorite has to be underground! Venom! Please talk to me! I have to get underground! I can't leave these people behind! Subway tunnel. Hey, everything all good with Haley? Not yet, but you still owe me a few more minutes. Hang tight. Haley, no. What are you doing here? I was... I was trying to save... You. You're incredible. I, I like you so much, and I think you like me. Do you want to go out? Hey, on a... Date? <laughs> Is that a yes? <laughs> well, it's a date then. After all this is over. Hey, buddy. I talked to Dr. Connors. He says you're too far gone, but I know that's not true. Harry, I messed up. 
was terrible to you. Your dream, our dream, healing the world. I'm sorry. Peter, we are here. I'm here. Are you finally ready? Harry, I can't. Not seeing a rock. No? Hold on. I'm nearly to you. Thanks for coming, Pete. We want to show you something. Harry, what are you? We are healed. Finally free. We can give that gift. MJ, I know where the meteorite is. MJ, we all need to meet up at May's house. What's going on out there, guys? It's the meteorite that the symbiote arrived in. He's using it to transform the city. I know where it is. And we're gonna steal it. Time to game plan. I'm in. See you guys at home.
Central Park Reservoir. The water system. Pumping goo everywhere. Adding more and more people to the hive mind. If all those symbiotes get out of Manhattan. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, planet goo. The meteorite is the source of all the power, right? Creating goo, creating symbiotes. But it was useless until Harry repaired it. Yeah. And that particle accelerator is what damaged it in the first place. Cut off a piece at low power. Right, so what if we crank the power up? Like way past 11. Might destroy it. And free everyone connected to the hive mind. Theoretically. But that reservoir's gotta be mobbed with symbiotes. And you know Harry's not gonna let that rock out of his sight. Unless he sees something he wants more. Me. Just, you know, for illustrative purposes. Harry's still Harry. He thinks he's healing the world. But the dream isn't complete without... His best friend beside him. I can lead Harry away from the meteorite. And I can handle all the symbiotes. Well, I... Grab the space rock for illustrative purposes. All right, fire up the accelerator. No more hive mind. World saved. We all get churros? <laughs> Theoretically. Pete, what Connor said about Harry being too far gone. If you can't save him, are it you won't ready? come to that. You two will be able to destroy the rock in time. Let's heal the world. For real this time. <laughs> so the meteorite is somewhere in that thing? So are Harry and his friends. I figured you could use a sonic touch. They're just standing there. What are they waiting for? Look, I can't thank you both enough for everything. Oh, come on, bro. We're the spider team. Don't anyone forget it? Gonna sit in there and play with your pet rock all night? It's you and me, Harry. Like we always wanted. me first. Story, Watson. What was that? A dead end? No. There has to be a way in. Whoever dropped these flares. 
Meteorites connected to the rest of the hive. Just a normal rock. I can also end the world. Yeah. <sighs> 
sure your plus one isn't invited to our high school reunion, Harry? Harry? Your mom got sick! We couldn't see her like that. When you lost her, that day on the football field, I was there! Always have been! Until we got sick again. We were fighting for our lives.
with your head, Harry! You're my best friend! Then why don't you trust us? I trust you, Harry! Not that thing you're wearing! We are not a thing! More of these guys? Why do you keep fighting us? You're not giving me a choice! Whoa, symbiote's dropping in. Not working! It's free Harry with more anti-venom! Heal the world with you! Not like this! The meteorite. You took it from us!
guy who took their stuff. Yeah, well, they started it. Or not. I'm here for you. 
our chance! We still have time? No, we don't. It'll kill them. And then it'll kill you. Let's heal the world, Pete. Together.
here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Some room. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I gotta try. Pulse is weak. We gotta move. What have you done? What have you done to him? I'm so sorry. I'm coming with you. Wait. There are traces of brain activity, but his chances of coming back are very slim. Just keep him alive. Get the G serum ready. ASAP. For the last few years, tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. But we somehow kept going. We battled sickness, evil, Cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed, numb. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But 
what about you? In this ongoing series, I will be talking with people throughout the city, exploring our new behaviors, new routines, new thoughts and feelings. I hope you'll join me on this journey. This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. Episode one, done. Nice. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, are these good to go? In a minute, I want to show you something first. Okay. It has molasses in it. Yum, I'll take those. <laughs> Thanks again for the donation, Peter. Have you talked to Miles about? Not yet. You ready? Uh, Miles. I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about something. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you there all, all the time. It's, it's, it's great uh, to talk. So many good talks. I just haven't been talking to you about what I should have been talking to you about. Pete. Uh, wait, uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. Go be Peter Parker for a while. Are you, are you sure it's, it's a big city? I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. Maybe not now, but there'll come a time. I'm here for you, always. Big bro. See you. What do you want? The Spider-Man. 
You know who they are, don't you? Why? They ruin my son. Good. We all have to experience loss. Even you, Norman. What are you writing? The final chapter. Hope you're hungry. Food's almost ready. Why don't you go show her your essay? He worked so hard on it. Some guy in Harlem, probably seen him volunteering in the city, helping out his city council mom, and trying to live up to his hero dad. Yeah. Haley, this is Albert. Uh, hi, nice to meet you. Oh, and uh, <laughs> this is my daughter, Cindy. What's up, New York? MJ! Hey! Just wanted to let you know you got a package here at the house. Okay. I put it in the garage for you. It's from Norman Osborne. Oh, interesting. Thanks for letting me know. Break time's over. this 
plants in a thumb drive? They say you should never plug in a drive of unknown origin. But I'm no Norman, I think. Peter! <laughs> I put this together for you because I knew when we got through this crazy time, whenever we got through it, I wanted you to have these. And I wasn't positive I'd be here to give them to you myself. <sighs> Harry. After the Emily May Foundation was destroyed by Craven's hunters, I went to see what I could recover before it got boarded up. In the box, you'll find a piece of bark from my mom's tree, and one of May's blossoms. And I thought, if you gene splice them together, you might get a hardy enough plant to produce seeds. Wow. Well, okay. I knew you could do it, Pete. Now, you know those little bee drones we salvaged from the field studies? We just leveraged their relocation data sets to plant those seeds around the city. You're some kind of genius, Harry Osborne. Let's get those bees working. I know, I know. It'll be years before we see the results. And who's to say where you and I will be a week from now, let alone years from now? Which is why I did this simulation to show you. So Emily and May will live on in the city and, of course, in us. I love you, Pete. I really do. And I know the Foundation didn't end up going the way I'd hoped, but there's still no one I'd rather have tried it with. I bet by the time you get this, we'll have already started a new Foundation. Just me and you. From scratch. Go us. Go us? something for you. We're in good health. Love you. Welcome back, Dana Club. We did it. We survived the impossible. Drove back a friggin' alien invasion. And we did it together. As heroes. Spider-Man led the way, and every day New Yorkers rose to the challenge. Today I am so pleased to talk with one of those heroes. Author, journalist, and avid motorcyclist. Please welcome Mary Jane Watson. Thanks, Danica. Please call me MJ. MJ it is. So, I ate up your book about Simcaria in a single sitting. Thank you for giving this to the world. It's so important. I heard we're going to get even more of your words in the form of a new project. Can you tell us more about it? Happy to. I've been thinking a lot about what's really important. 
nothing will make you rethink your life like a citywide alien invasion, right? Relatable. And I realized how important the truth is. I started a podcast called The New Normal. I don't know where New York is headed, but I'm looking forward to finding out. With all of you out there, I want to be honest and report what's really happening in the city. Straight up, no exaggerations, no clickbait, you know? I know exactly what you mean. When you let that junk creep in, it takes over the truth, warps it into something else, like a, a, like a symbiote. Mary Jane Watson, everybody. Any last notes you'd like to leave us with? Stay safe out there. Oh, and if you have motorcycle insurance, make sure it includes a villain damage clause. I could feel the pain in your voice there. I'm working through it. Danica Hart and Mary Jane Watson, signing off.